Hello, Professor. Hello, class. Welcome to FNP 597, week two case presentation. Uh, the patient's name is XY. He's a five-year-old male patient of Arabic descent from Morocco who arrived at the clinic with his dad. He, has, he, he was awake, alert, and oriented to person and place. Uh, chief complaint as per his father, uh, my son is coughing for three weeks and he told me he is not sleeping well because of the cough. History of the present illness. As per his father, the cough started about three weeks ago and has gotten worse in the past two days. The cough is dry and produces a clear mucus and is aggravated after running up and down the stairs inside the house when he's laughing and when he's trying to sleep at night the cough is uh relieved you know be resting um as per the father he did not give any medication to stop the cough and he wants to know why the patient is coughing um, <clears throat> past medical history of the patient uh he did not have any chronic condition at the moment he did not have a surgical history medication uh, no hospitalization, um, no recent hospitalization. Um, he's not using any herbal medication and uh, no known allergy to food, um, drug, environment, and herbal products. His immunization, uh, DTAP, polio, hepatitis B, M -M -M -R, MMR were given on January 1st, um, January 13, 2020, and um, were well tolerated. Um, patient family history. The grandfather on the paternal side is a 64 year old alive with a history of hypertension. Grandmother paternal side is a 59 year old alive with history of migraine headache and GERD. Uh, grand, grandmother, um, maternal side, 66 year old alive, the history of asthma and obesity. No, I'm sorry, grandfather on the maternal side. Uh, grand, um, the grandmother on the maternal side is a 62 year old alive with history of anemia and hypertension. Um, the father is a 34-year-old, alive, diagnosed with pre-diabetic. The mother is 31-year-old, alive, with a history of migraine headache. Sibling, he does not have any sibling at the moment. Um, the patient's social history, he is the only child at the moment. He lives in a household with both parents, the father and the mother. And both the father and the mother are non-tobacco, alcohol or drug users. There's no pet in the house. Uh, he attends school daily with virtual mode, interacts socially with other students during virtual, virtual classes, plays video games on his iPad, enjoy watching spare, spare, space races as per the father. He eats normal healthy diet, including meat, rice, vegetables, and, and bread. Uh, difficulty sleeping in the past few weeks affectionate relationship with his father and the mother both parents provide good care to his pa to this patient he's helpful and follow direction <clears throat> excuse me growth and development he appears uh, with normal growth and well developed he's uh, four feet tall and weight 44 pounds and he's of a uh, normal behavior and speak clearly health promotion and maintenance his immunization is up to date, including the DTAP, the, foli the polio, the hip B, and the MMR. Um, as of 12-12-2020, uh, um, his annual physical examination or you know, child wellness is normal. He lives in a healthy household environment, and he has appropriate education and socialization. Uh, review of system. Um, general. Denied weight changes, fever, chills, and he complained of tiredness from coughing and lack of enough sleep due to the cough. 
Um, other review of system is not significant clinically, except uh, <clears throat> the throat, the patients and the father complains of uh, irritation and pain in the throat due to coughing. Uh, deny, they deny difficulty swallowing, burning feelings, lemon taste, or food regurgitation. On the respiratory system, the patient and the father complains of coughing and wheezing for three weeks, which got worse in the past couple of days, and difficulty breathing after physical activities. Denied uh, being exposed to smoke, any more hair, chemicals, medication, pollens, recent infection, nasal congestions, and runny nose. Allergy immunology. The patient and the parent deny allergies you know, to food, medication, environment, health products, and they deny also frequent um, illness or infection. The integumentary system. <clears throat> the patient and the parent verbalize feeling itching occasionally on the elbow area, bilaterally, and on the left side of the neck. Uh, they deny problem with moles, pustules, papules that have changed in color, shape, size. They also deny problem with hyper or hypopigmentation and bruising. <clears throat> Objective information, vital signs, blood pressure 108 over 56, pulse 84, respiration 20, temperature 97.9, oxygen saturation 98% in room air, pain 0 out of 10, height 4.0, uh, weight 40 pounds, BMI 15.3, 44th uh, percentile. Uh, significant physical examination uh, include constitutional. The uh, patient appear well nourished, healthy, <clears throat> without moody behavior, normal affect, awake, alert, and oriented to person, place, respond to interview questions properly, follows direction, and is able to verbalize feeling. No fever, chills, weight, weight changes are observed. Cardiovascular. Chest cavity is a normal shape, clean without scars, rash, injuries, retraction, pulsation, bulging, no tenderness or pain on palpation is noted. Normal blood pressure, 108 over 56, pulse 84 beats per minute, regular rate and rhythm, uh, strength is 2 plus, present in all extremities. No bruit or trolls heard in the temporal, carotid, and abdominal arteries. S1, S2 heard without additional sounds. No murmurs, no clubbing, no cyanosis. Capillary refill is less than 3 seconds. The point of maximum impulse is in the mid-clavicular at the 5th intercostal to the left. A respiratory system, <clears throat> uh, no burial chest, pigeon breast, uh, retraction or sunken. Um, the anterior posterior diameter is normal. The respiratory rate is 20 beats per minute with regular rhythm, no use of accessory muscles for breathing, symmetric chest expansion, diaphragm rises and falls freely with respiration, no tenderness on palpation, uh, mild, audible, wheezing on inspiration and expiration, dry and productive cough with clear mucus, the breathing is not labored. Integumentary, the skin looks clean, moistened and normal temperature, 97.9, uh, no hyperpigmentation observed, no more pustules, papules or abnorm of abnormal color, Shape and size is noted. Rash, dry, and scratchy marks are noted on the left side of the neck and in the elbow bilaterally. Uh, no sign of physical abuse is noted. Allergies, immunology. No sign of infection or allergy is observed. <clears throat> Differential diagnosis. Um, Based on the symptoms of the patient, um, we suspect, you know, airway foreign body um, for this uh, case. 
but it's been ruled out because um, as it's evidenced by, you know, the patient being over three years old, uh, usually airway foreign body is very common in three years old because they put everything in the mouth. Um, there's also, also progressive coughing for three weeks with no history of choking, you know, actual grasping for air, strider, hoarseness, or difficulty swallowing and gagging. Um, croup ruled out. Uh, croup also is ruled out because it's a very common complaint associated with cough in the primary care setting, but it's been ruled out as evidenced by presence of uh, inspiratory and expiratory wheeze, but without a barking cough, strider, hoarseness, absence of retraction, lethargy, agitation, cyanosis, and the child is awake, alert, and oriented to person and place. Um, acute asthma is ruled in as evidenced by the patient clinical presentation with three weeks of you know, progressive and dry um, productive cough that has uh, progressively become uh, worse in the past 48 hours. Uh, it is associated with inspiratory and expiratory wheezing bilaterally and worsening cough with physical activities, laughing and awakening at night due to coughing. So the diagnostic plan is of initially the spirometry to test the breathing pattern, uh, the respiratory pattern, um, the, to check the flow expiratory um, volume um, and other you know, respiratory um, information, to test for allergies, uh, and trying um, anti-histamic anti uh, drug such as albuterol uh, sulfate inhaler to test for symptom improvement. Um, X-rays of the cervical and thoracic view with the posterior, anterior, and lateral views to rule out you know, any restrictive airway or any type of obstructions in the third area. Um, we're also going to do bronchoscopy uh, to rule out any foreign body in the patient's airway. And then we're going to do CBC and CMP to rule out infection or other conditions. Uh, treatment plan uh, for non-medication therapy. Uh, the patient and the father have to avoid triggers such as um, excessive running, you know, up and down, down the stairs inside the house, to rest when is needed, to avoid the pollens, uh, smoke, perfumes, uh, animal products, infection, and contact with sick people. Um, <clears throat> for medication management, um, based on the patient's current symptoms, uh, we're going to you know, uh, prescribe albuterol sulfate, uh, 90 microgram uh, meter dose inhaler, uh, two path um, every four hours, PRN for shortness of breathing, coughing, uh, wheezing, and um, tight chest. And to also use two puff before <clears throat> intense activities to prevent asthma attack. <clears throat> um, so as you know, we discussed earlier uh, on the integumentary uh, part of the uh, assessment, the patient complained about itchiness um, around the elbow area and the left side of the neck. So we're going to, you know, at the same time, take care of that issue. Uh, reason for why we're going to prescribe the GM Cinelon, uh topical cream, which we will apply to the affected side, BID, um, until the rash or the lesions um, disappear. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, patient education. Um, uh, take the medication as uh, prescribed. Wash your hand before taking your medication. Clean um, the meters uh, mouthpiece with 70% alcohol uh, before and after use. Uh, rinse your mouth um, with water and spit after rinsing after using the albuterol inhaler. Um, if you continue to have symptoms after using the albuterol for 20 minutes, uh, you can repeat the dose as prescribed initially and uh, but if you are in respiratory distress then you know uh, the parents have to call 911 for emergency for emergency assistance and continue to report 
to repeat the dose um, every 20 minutes until the EMS arrives. Uh, patient and the parent also are advised to carry the albuterol inhaler you know, at all times when they live in the house, just in case the patient experiences um, asthma attack um, somewhere out of the house. Um, and then um, important things, you know, to monitor the side effect, including dysrhythmias, uh, seizures, and, um, you know, uh, and tachyapnea. So in, in um, the follow-up, the patient will return to the clinic in, two, in four weeks uh, to evaluate the initial therapy. So I thank you very much for listening to my presentation. Uh, in this case, if you have any question or any suggestion, you can you know, submit it to you know, the discussion board and I will review them and I will make all the necessary changes. Thank you and good night.